What's up, guys? Welcome to the Stash Street Sports channel. Let's get right into it. Let's talk about Kai Soto. Um, and let's get right into it. No extra intro, none of that stuff. Kai Soto is confusing case, case to me, honestly. You know, I did a prediction video on him, I think, last week or two weeks ago. You know, my time frame was all off, <laughs> working and all this stuff, holidays, well, 4th of July, all this stuff. So, you know, kids. So, my time frame was all off. But I did a video on him, I believe, mid last week sometime it was a prediction video stating the golden state warriors will sign him to a summer league uh, roster spot and in that video i mentioned a couple other teams as well like the kings like the heat all three of my personal opinion need big men you know um so those a young guy seven three good wingspan good athleticism not not great but good you know i thought he could have filled in someone's roster uh someone's summer league roster uh, that didn't happen. You know, uh, Summer League starts, I believe, July 7th. So he missed out there on all the roster spots. I'm like, cool, that's fine. You know, I'm going to watch him in, in the Asia Cup. And then I'm looking online, and I'm seeing Chot Reyes, who is the Godless Program um, Director, and he says that it's unlikely, quote-unquote unlikely, that we see the 7-3 big man, big man, on the on on the uh, Gallus team, I'm like, excuse me, <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? I thought at least I would see him play there, and then this is a quote, this is a direct quote, quote, excuse me, that uh, Mr. Reyes said in a mix of English and Filipino. He says, uh, and he's talking about uh, Chet Chet Soto. I mean, excuse me, Kai Soto, excuse me. <laughs> He's talking about Kai Soto, and he says, and I quote, uh, he has decided to do some other things and forego the FIBA Asia Cup, end quote. I'm like, I'm shaking my head like, what is going on? You know, the last time I heard about Soto, you know, it was his agent misspeaking the night after the night of the draft, and he didn't get picked, and he said he was going to focus on potentially the Asia Cup and the, um, and, and, and the NBL, you know. And there was some, some confusion there because basically they ruled out Summer League, but then Soto came out and said, hey, Summer League is still an option. All my options are open and blah, blah, blah. You know, so I'm like, cool. You know, he's going to do something. And for Mr. Reyes to come out and say this, who was the director of, of the team, he said he's still hopeful for him to show up. You know, they had a scrimmage, uh, not a scrimmage, but an exhibition against, um, I believe it was India, and they blew him out the water. I think by 16 points, again, wasn't close at all. You know, but they still need length and they need big men, you know, and he's he'll, he'll be happily welcome on the team. Miss Ray is going on to say in the article that I read, but it's very unlikely that Soto comes. And I'm just confused what's going on. You know, Soto's handlers, Solo, Soto's agents uh, or, or agent, um, they're doing him a disservice, in my personal opinion. You know, and he, he takes some blame for it, too, but he has handlers and stuff for a reason. But whoever in his camp, you know, who is handling him is definitely dropping the ball, honestly. I don't understand what's going on. You know, uh, he, he didn't get picked, which was highly unlikely anyway. That's why I, I didn't do a video on him get, getting drafted. I definitely thought Summer League was, was in his future. But I don't know if the Summer League had, teams had no interest or was it because what his agents said, they kind of got put off by what he said. You know, I'm not sure what's going on there. But uh, as I said in my prior video, return to the NBL is, is uh, fine. That's I mean that, that's a guarantee in a way. You're not gonna you know uh, um, the, the, the the FIBA Asia Cup isn't a long term thing. It's only it starts July 12th and it's like a couple week a week or two tournament. It's not long at all, you know. But uh, I think two weeks tournament. But you know he has spots, you know either the Asia Cup or summer league to make a mark to make his name out there. You know, for like just just to put his name back out there. You know, his name is hot just off of potential and things of that nature. But play style and play wise, well, I, I say play, not not play style, but his play on the court isn't nothing to really marvel at right now. You know, to be honest. So I'm like, man, he could definitely come a mark, m make a big mark for himself. Summer league, you know, Asia Cup. I want to see him do something. As I said before, I was a big fan of his. In uh, going to the G League, you know, he was a part of the first G League team. Uh, Jalen Green, Jonathan Kaminga, uh, I think his name is Shea Dixon, the the, uh, the point guard. 
you know, that was really a pass first point guard, kind of heavy set, kind of sort of, you know, whatever. Had had a little fro, then he cut it. I think his name is Deshae Nix. I believe his, I believe his name is. He's, he's with the Houston Rockets or something like that. You know, I was a fan of that, uh, of that squad. I watched every one of their games. And you know, I was, that was a couple years ago now. So I was like, man, where's Soto? I don't see him. And I looked, I Googled during that time and said, he's not coming. I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, I was excited for him. 7'3", big man, young guy. I wanted to see him do some work. And he didn't come. So, you know, I've been a fan of his since then, watching highlights since then. Uh, he went to the NBL, watched his play there. It was solid. You know, so I'm saying I think he has a future in the NBA. He just has to get there. You know, and it's going to be tough to get there. But like, as I said, right now, his name is hot on all the markets. But it's not for his play. It's just because, you know, uh, you know, just for other reasons. Not, not, not bad, just, you know, just his, his, his play isn't up to par where his name is, honestly. And you see that in other different fields, you know, and you kind of get lost in the sauce after the fact if, you're, if your play doesn't catch up to your name. You know, so that's just the thing for me, man. I hope. Somehow he sneaks onto a roster on a, on on a summer league, or decides to be a late addition to to the Asia Cup to to the Giala scene. Uh, but as I said, you come out with a director saying he's not coming, probably not not coming. He hasn't talked to him. They reached out, haven't talked to him. The summer league hasn't picked him up, I don't, and they pick up almost anybody. <laughs> you know, if you have a name, I don't get it, man. So you know, I, I hope they they hunker down on um, him and his team. And if not this year, next year, you know, uh, go back in the draft if they want or finish out their contract with, with the NBL. But they have a they have to come with a set plan. They really do, man, because him misspeaking might have cost Soto some league spot, to be honest. You know, uh, that, that might have turned some teams off. They don't know what his future or, or his plans hold, you know. So if the NBA isn't in your future, which is not in everyone's future or, or, or plans, you know, uh, a lot of guys who play overseas don't have ambition to go to the NBA. You know, I know some players personally. Uh, they aren't stars and anything like that, but they just happen to be playing on a professional level, and they get to travel the world, go overseas, all that good stuff, and they're from America. You know, so him, you never know what his actual goals are. You know, his his reps might say w- one thing, but, but that don't truly mean that's what the player's actual desires are. So... Him and his team need to come together, in my personal opinion, and find out what they want to do. Simple as that. So whether it be, you know, as a, they might can come together next, um, right now, the next day or two, and go to the Asia Cup. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. I apologize. <laughs> I'm almost done, though. So, uh, you know, they have a lot of options to do. But if not, just wait till next year. Go in and draft or finish out, I think, the last two years of his NBL contract. He'll only be 21, I believe. And, you know, hopefully his game matures a little bit from, from now to, to, to the end, to the end of his contract, and see where he's at, you know. So, but that's it for video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.